Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Dr. Moni Yadioye. I want to appreciate you for watching Ogongo TV. I believe you are enjoying our fantastic movies, Medical Tips on Ogongo TV. Today, I want to introduce you to a wonderful program tagged One on One with a Champion. On this program, you have the opportunity of meeting great people, people who have wealth of experience that you can tap from. Do you know that courage is the backbone of the champions? Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I love you. One with a great champion We told you could lay a song You will bless, you will be inspired And you stand to be a great champion I'm a blessing I'm a blessing to generation I've been given the power I've been given the power to I'm not a savage. I am a king, I'm not a seven. Oh, I stand to reign. I stand to reign. I'm a champion. Welcome to another episode of One on One with Champions. My name is Esau Yokunle, and I am your host on this wonderful program. Today, I have a special guest of honor. She is a wonderful woman. She, she has a PhD in social works and she has been grooming young ones for over 20 good years 20 solid years interacting with young ones that are moving from secondary school to university so she has been bridging the gap she has a lot of story to tell us she has a lot of things to tell us so that if you have such children at home you can also groom them she is wonderful. Let us go straight to meet with our guest for today. I am Dr. Mrs. Olaju Mokiakiri, the head of school, JCP University, and um, the CEO, Charity Point Education and Youth Development Initiative. These organizations are established to help young people maximize their potentials and to also propel peak performance in young people. As a young girl growing up, I grew up in a Christian family with loving father and mother and siblings and um, it was a good time and I always have lovely memories growing up as a child and I faced a lot of challenges. Um, as a teenage girl, I think one major challenge I want to talk about that we really help our young girls is peer pressure. There was a lot of peer pressure uh, from friends and especially when I entered university and it really, it really affected me in achieving my goals, but at a point, I was able to realize myself and um, I was able to cope and realize my goals. So peer pressure is one and I think many of our young people are still facing that. In fact, now it's on a very high level because of social media and technology. And so it's one thing that I also faced, but I was able to overcome at a point and thank God for that. Um, like I said, it's the 21st century and um, social media is a major one that has posed a lot of pressure on our young people. Um, we have many of them connected with people all over the world. In our days, there wasn't social media and um, we were only faced with the pressure from our immediate community. But in this present date, you see a lot of young people having friends 
all over the world, people that they don't know, people that they've never seen, they are friends, they are even, you know, doing a lot of things, exchanging ideas, values, and all of that. And so I think um, the kind of peer pressure that our young people face now is quite overwhelming. We have a lot of bullying taking place, even on social media. So it's completely different, it's a bit dynamic, and then we really have to look into it and see how we can help a lot of our young people overcome this, or else they will not be able to achieve their dreams in life. Uh, I will say that for underage um, students, definitely they are not mature yet because you know maturity also, though it does not completely come with age, but age is a factor. And so uh, I entered university at a tender age, there were a lot of peer pressure. I wasn't able to cope at first, but eventually I was able to cope. But I think that um, um, underage or young people that are not of age, maybe 14, 15, 16, going into the university, there's no doubt, they're not mature yet. And they may not be able to cope with all the multidimensional issues that they will encounter on campus. There is the emotional part of um, studying, there is the psychological part, there is the social part, there is the academic. So to be able to cope with all this together at a tender age without much preparation may really affect them. So that, that's what I'm saying. For me, it affected me. And um, I, I, at a point, I wasn't coping. But like I said, I was eventually able to overcome. But I know that in this day and time, and even at that time, many people were not able to overcome. I have so many people that were together at the university at that time that they dropped out of school. I have so many people that came into university with fantastic grades, but when they got there, they were not performing very well. We have so many of our young people that it will be at that stage that they are diverging, they start having affairs and all of that. So definitely coping with issues in the university is a major one. And I believe that young people need to be more mature. And uh, you see some of the vices too, cultism, malpractices, some of these are the result of not entering to university with more preparation and mature mind. I believe that if we have them mature and prepare very well, they will be able to cope with university challenges and excel. Also, I want you to remember that university is actually strategic and that, that is when they really build on their career in life. So if they're able to go there with a focused mind, they will be able to go through and have a, a, a good career that they can now use to live a successful life in the future. Look, like I said, I'm the head of School JC University, and from the name, it's obvious that we um, uh, admin students that have finished secondary school before they enter university, and so what we do majorly is to groom them to nurture them, to help them, to be able to mature in that process before they enter the university and we have success stories. So, so usually we help young people by counseling them, mentoring them, okay? We counsel them, we teach them a lot of value, we're deliberate about what we do. We teach them a lot of values, we make them understand what peer pressure is and we help them to understand how to cope with peer pressure and we have fantastic you know um, testimonies to that once we're able to be deliberate and i want to talk to you parents to parents must be deliberate about teaching their children they must not just assume a lot of adults and parents assume that young people just know what to do but we have to be deliberate we must teach them that there's something called peer pressure you're going to be um asked by your friends to do things that are contrary to your belief system and you have to be convinced about your own value system and stick to and maintain those value systems rather than fall into you know the trap of doing something wrong that your friends 
or your colleagues are asking you to do. So I think a lot of counseling and mentoring will help young people and that is what we have been doing in our own establishments over the years and it has helped a lot of young people to be focused rather than being distracted because what peer pressure does is just to distract young people from focusing on what is going to help them to lead a successful life. So I think that has been the case. Mentoring, counseling, um, having close relationship with them has been a great help for many of them. Okay, my advice to the mother and the child yes. and um, everyone, yes. okay? Now, it's, I'm from a Christian background, so it's important for us to know that we, none of us have the right to take another person's life. And that pregnancy is a life and it, you know, must be kept. I also want us to know that um, in whatsoever circumstance that we find ourselves, we have to um, understand that um, people go through different circumstances. You know, that's just a circumstance. Every one of us go through circumstances. Some of us may think that that's the worst thing that may happen to anyone. But the, all of us, we go through issues. And when it comes, we just have to make sure that we make the right decision based on our value system. We don't have the right to kill any life. So I think keeping that pregnancy is okay. And um, we have to just make sure that um, the child is properly taken care of and that the pregnancy is well taken care of and the delivery is, you know, well taken care of. But, but that's a typical situation, I must confess. It's very difficult. But like I've said, we have, we have so many people that have even... Um, come from pregnancy that they don't even know who owns it and today they are great in life in fact they are very great in life so that a pregnancy came from that kind of circumstances that we don't expect it's unusual is something that is not um, it, 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 one don't one, most people will not want but it has happened but the fact that it has happened does not mean that we have to go ahead and do something wrong to correct you know something that is wrong again so keeping it is okay but we have to also counsel like i said counseling is very important and it's if it means that the mother referring that child to a specialist that we counsel because that is really really traumatic okay the child is going to go through trauma the mother is going to go through a lot of all that too so referring as a youth social worker we are always asked that if a circumstance a situation we cannot undo you can refer referring that child to somebody that can help counsel and manage both the child and the mother too will go a long way to help the two psychologically because that is going to affect the child and the mother but in the old analysis we have to always look forward be hopeful and know that the best can come from any worst situation we're in COVID-19 there are many people that are making the best use of this time okay so there is no circumstance that is worst or terrible we can always make the best of any circumstance and we don't have to continue to do something wrong to correct anything that is already wrong. We just have to do the right thing. The truth is that it's just the scenario that we are focusing on. For a lot of people that become great in life, come, many of them come from ghettos. Many of them have come from poor background. And so what are we trying to say? We should not focus on that situation. We should focus on the fact that champions, you know, people become champions due to hard work, due to maintaining a good value system, due to, you know, commitment, dedication. So if that child is born, 
that does not mean that that child cannot become a champion in fact most of the time we see young such such you know young ones that have such children that have come from such circumstances we see their mom committed to them sometimes this these women we go uh, you know a long way to make sure that this ch child you know is educated and we've had a lot of success stories of such you know people from such a background so we should not focus on that situation that situation has come we should just make the best out of it. My advice to young ones is that they must have a dream. You must have a goal. You must take steps, steps towards achieving your goals. There's no step that is little because I think that's one thing that is affecting our young ones now. They think I must have, you know, all that I need to be able to go ahead and achieve what I want to achieve. There's no little, you know, w one step at a time. And we should work hard. We should be dedicated and committed to our dreams. And I want to tell you, your dreams can become a reality. And your dreams will become a reality in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Mrs. Olaji Mwake Akere, the CEO of Cherry Point Education and Youth Development Initiative. I want you to keep watching One on One with Champions. Welcome back. It has been an exciting episode. You know, Dr. Mrs. Akere is just so exciting. She is full of young energy. You see, and she has given us what it takes to be a champion as young ones. If you're a young person or you are still there and you know you are going to be a champion or you're a champion, never allow peer pressure. Never allow peer pressure. She kept mentioning that. Never allow peer pressure because pressures can weigh you down and can cause unnecessary competition. So if you're a champion, don't forget you need to what, have courage. Like I usually say, courage is the backbone of champions. Till we meet again, I'm your host, Esso Yokonle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. Then click on the notification bell so that you will be updated anytime we upload a new content. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you next time. Champions. You will be inspired And you stand to be Baby champion, I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing to generation. I've been given the power. I've been given the power to rule. I am a king, I'm not a savage. I am a king, I'm not a savage. I stand to reign. I stand to reign. I'm a champion.